Hi. Today we will be seeing a position called Lucena position. Uh, this is a very old position. So let me say like uh, some more some major variations in the Lucena. Like we will be seeing Rook the more Rook G1. Then we will also be seeing the more Rook E1. Rook E1. We will be seeing the more Rook T1 Rook as D1. recommended by Dvorovsky. So these moves are also winning in the center position as per Dvorovsky. Now uh, there are three methods. First is uh, to build a bridge, you know, and uh, so we will be putting this uh, Rook here. And then we will be putting it here, and then uh, so that to intercept on the a4 and then uh, we will be taking this king out uh, after putting uh, this in check so rook t1 let's examine the first method so so this is like uh, we are taking it from uh, let me add this text before dovrovsky and the game manual chapter 9 uh, diagram is 93 91 so 91 is your diagram okay so this is it and we will also be inserting our diagram so as you can see that uh, we uh, on this move you know black has uh, two options like uh, either he can go anywhere here or he can come out here and put pressure on his farm but uh, this move will be wrong because uh, if black takes this move F6. then uh, white has uh, king, king f8, f8 and he can't provide uh, this from queening reason being that he doesn't have any checks now and if he gives Rook a check A8, here, then uh, pawn of course E8. the queen will get promoted. So, of course, after this move, uh, black has nothing to uh, show. Like uh, he may try like after king f8. Let's say he he tries this Rook move. H2. New variation. So let's say he does this move and. Uh, Pawn E8. Then Rook H8. Nothing will happen. Rook G8. And uh, Rook if H7. It is like this, then uh, now, uh, now like uh, Rook he can G6. come. Uh, King like F5. Queen he can E6. Easily King make. F4. Rook he doesn't G4. have to even take this uh, uh, Rook. Uh, King F3. Queen E4. King F2, Rook G2, King F1. So it's made. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, so, mm, so again, this move fails, and uh, uh, so, so so this is a. Uh, let me write something more uh, so that I don't forget. Uh, alternative way. Slide it here as well. Step to more alternative win. Okay. Now let's say uh, let us follow the real method. Like uh, he he won't go here and uh, he this is the king here. So this is the main line which Dvorovsky recommends. Of course he won't recommend king f6 because that is losing. And uh, after king f8, uh, again uh, say rook a8 and uh, e8 queen. So let me mark this as a uh, win for white. So this loses uh, king f7. Uh, so king f6 will lose. So let us see king f7. Now, now Dvorovsky gives that. Uh, Rook D2 after King H7. Uh, okay, so 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 now we start building a bridge. Now here also there are three alternatives. Rook One is G4. Uh, Rook G4. Another is uh, Rook D1. Rook D1. 
and this is another alternative and another is rook, rook e1. e1 so that is another alternative so so Do Doroski gives multiple alternatives like uh, you can choose anyone to win but uh, uh, we are showing this uh, the bridge method so uh, let me write uh, what is this method called it's called building a bridge so that's what uh, the bridge is there so Dvorsky has uh, written here about this move that uh, uh, the rook move prepares an interference at e4 so at e4 this method is called building a bridge or simply called as bridging so what what is the idea I, I will show you that now but before that let me show you that uh, if you don't know this method you may go wrong like if you don't uh, play any of these moves and you go a bit greedy like uh, you King just F7. put it here so uh, I, I won't recommend this move so I will be putting a question mark here King F7. and uh, if you see here uh, uh, why uh, why does it have any protection from checks now okay so many people actually here make a mistake Rook. like if they put it here then uh, uh, then of course this is a mate so you, you you don't have much time here like to play this kind of moves but uh, the king is exposed and uh, let's say promote this variation so look have to check uh, he, if he goes back uh, like King uh, e8 we, we can repeat this position rook a2 like, uh, and uh, if he again King comes F7. back rook we can F2. again uh, again this position e8. and uh, rook a2 that's the threefold repetition so uh, so this is a threefold repetition and uh, so this will be a draw so if if you don't uh, have any idea about how to win this and you can make this kind of mistakes uh, so uh, yeah it's uh, entirely possible to make uh, this kind of mistake so uh, let's say uh, say you are not that afraid uh, you don't go back but uh, you come forward King e6 yeah, so uh, you come forward rook e2 say rook e2 check king, king f6, f6 and there Look is no F2. end to checks like uh, you can't King actually e prevent the checks okay so um, like uh, as you can see Rook e2. Uh, uh, th there is no protection from checks and uh, he may have to King go back D6. and uh, of Rook course D2. there is no end to the checks like if, if I go back here then uh, he e will again uh, put an I can't even protect my um, pawn you know so uh, I will have to go back King here D6 so this is also a draw like, uh, so if uh, like plays this move then uh, I don't see any way that uh, he can win as per, uh, just uh, if he makes this kind of blunder uh, let me uh, mark this as a blunder uh, the blender okay so okay so um, so this is the correct method like um, building a bridge one of the three methods uh, recommended so this is also an uh, other method uh, so is an alternative win and uh, this is also recommended this is also an alternative win Okay. So here, uh, so the correct uh, move uh, as per uh, Dvoratsky is uh, let's say uh, so after putting it here, uh, let's say he he places. Uh, uh, so the correct move as per the rescue is 52. Now, 
he's shown that uh, let's say he wasted a move like uh, king this h6 so he he wasted his uh, move so always uh, f7 take like this now uh now white is threatening to queen this pawn and uh so king f7 and uh like uh, I say, H5. Uh, he makes this, and then uh, I can just put it here, and then win. Like uh, I, I can't see any way by which White can prevent this. Rook A8, so anyway, pawn so E8. So e even if uh, he plays this, this is only short term. Like, uh, King can F8, this and uh, you can still lose. Okay, so let let us see. Like king h6, uh, then uh, king f7 will be the best move. And uh, after that, uh, after that, just uh, uh, even uh, if he places like this, uh, then uh, the best move will be to place king it here. F8. And there is no way which uh, might can prevent it. No, to black and prevent uh, the cooling of the pawn. Uh, okay, so instead of this, uh, let's say uh, black tries something else. Like he goes Rook directly for a check. Uh, so king let's say f7. King f7. Then also um, he wins uh, because Rook after this uh, again it will come and uh, next uh, move. He can just uh, do checkmate. Okay. Um, so, so let us see that uh, uh, King Epson is bad. So, and uh, we also saw that uh, G4. So, so we will go with Rook G4 for now. We will uh, explore this uh, later. But uh, we can explore some more uh, replies by black. Let's say uh, instead of uh, uh, like we already saw King H and then F7, then we can win. Uh, let's say he, he goes uh, sort of this. He goes uh, King H8. Okay. So look at it. He goes. And then also the same thing. King F7. Uh, like he's uh, uh, promoting. Rook F2. And then King uh, he E6. will uh, be taking this. So, uh, he will be taking like this, and uh, uh, so the next move is Rook this, uh, E2. We'll King to F6. Rook F2. King E5. Just, uh, Rook E2. Rook next E4. Move is this. So this is also useless move. Like. Uh, let us say he he can't go anywhere else, and uh, so yeah. So Rook let's F2. say he misses this here. Evolution. Now, um, now he can't uh, come here, but uh, he can definitely come King here. D seven. And now again the same story will repeat. Like, um, black is already uh, taking this, so let us say f7. he takes the like king and e6. then uh, then, then we will be in a very comfortable. Rook e2. And then this also uh, also won't stop the king from coming. Let's say he Rook gives e2. a check. We said and e6. Uh, we put it here. Rook e2. Then king we put it again f6. here. Rook F2, and then King E5, Rook so E2, again Rook the bridge is there. So, so, so you now you understand that why this uh, King, why this Rook came from year to year to year to year, uh, and uh, to to prevent this. So yeah, so uh, this is the best move after is Rook D2, but this also doesn't do anything much. But, uh, King he can F7. come out. Look F2 check Rook is the F2. only reply. Like uh, if you if you don't do anything Rook like uh, 
we play this move then of Rook. course this is checkmate so so, so black is forced to uh, give a check here now king e6 the correct move is king e6 no no point in going back uh, as you have seen that uh, this will be a draw like this so rook e2 check rook e2 king f6 king f6 now there are two choices like uh, if uh, if i play here okay then this rook will be formed king e5 and, uh, rook e2 rook and this is e4. the correct method but let's say i don't give a check i just rook e1 now this move is like if uh, if white tries to make a queen i will it is queen so uh, so that is prevented my honor but here also white has a like he will just shift a bridge uh, one level rook up g5 so now rook if we take this then uh, king we e6 put it here now he can't prevent uh, the can from queen rook e1 if check then uh, the e bridge five. will be formed at e5 instead of e4 here so so this is how uh, we win in uh, missena position let me uh, add the symbols here like uh, this is a win uh, so this is also a win for white Win for white. This is the Lucena position. One second, we see we will see this position uh, many times uh, as we are studying Lucena. And uh, we again uh, in this also we had one plus minus. And this also we had one. So I'm showing you all the variations because. Uh, like uh, there should not be any doubt in your mind that uh, so this is like lucena position uh, one rank up than what we normally see on e4 okay, so i think uh, we have every conclusion at every point in every variation we have one conclusion so normally uh, like okay. This is the way Lucena is won, but uh, there are other ways also. Like uh, let's say we give a check, then we put it here. Like, let's say uh, King F6. Let us like uh, it makes no difference. Like uh, even if uh, it's uh, King F6. King H6. Uh, let, let us go with that then uh, we, we again will have the same uh, bridge rook g4 now if uh, king h5 if you are then rook we will e4. take this and uh, king here, g5 then, uh, we'll take king this. f7 and uh, rook e2 uh, sorry so he can't actually win because uh, this will be disastrous because the next move it is queen. So let Rook me give a check F2. here. Uh, oh right. So king e6. Yeah. So, so that's uh, how it is. Like uh, there is no way that uh, black can uh, win and this also. Right. Uh, so instead of this, uh, like uh, how I not we give a Rook check here? A8. So if we give a check, uh, we have this King move. F7. Okay. So now, now there is no point in putting it here because he will put it here. So. So, so this is absolutely lost. Uh, okay, it is absolutely lost for um, for black. Okay, so let us uh, instead of that, let's stick with uh, rook d two. 
new variation so the rook d2 let's stick with that so King we'll take F7. again so again that same idea will get developed and uh, next move is uh, queen so he has to rook play f2 this. king e6 rook, rook e2 king now, f6 now the problem with is that uh, we played uh, there was one variation in which we played rook e1 in the fifth move now problem with king f6 is uh, we can't play a waiting move like rook e1 check rook e1 because rook. of mate so so yeah we won't be able to play that we have to compulsorily rook f2 and uh, so um, this is the variation so i think we should promote this variation so and uh, king we can e5. again uh, rook e2 rook this, uh, e4 loosen our position all right So uh, again, we have this listener position. Yeah. So. So yeah. Okay. One thing. Maybe I forgot to show you. So, G five. Okay. So let's say uh, instead of uh, look at one check, I just uh, waste a move. Rook e2, and uh, but that will also e5. Uh, put this barrier here, and uh, Rook you F2. can't do anything King about it, e6. and uh, all the checks are being uh, catered to. Right now, uh, 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 let's recap this. Like uh, we. Let's take up the main line. Like uh, we go here. Now we take uh, the rook g4, rook d2, move the king out. In here, so rook h4 check. And uh, how the bridge is formed. Okay. So let us uh, go for the alternate win. Like, uh, what will happen if uh, we have uh, instead of uh, black going giving a check, we just could uh, support this pawn. So, what is white uh, threat here? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm sorry, this is not an alternate win uh, because uh, Rook D2 has this. And I don't think it will win. Let me ask the engine that uh, whether this can win or this can not win. It's, uh, it's, uh, okay, it does win. Uh, let us see. This also wins. So rook g1 check. Rook g1 and king, king h6. h6 and we have rook again the listener position. So let us uh, let us see. He rook puts here. f2. Then he uh, then king, this king will come out from here. And uh, let's say he makes rook a waiting D1. move, then uh, king will come out king from here. F7, rook, rook F1, F1. check, uh, king, king come here. E6. 
Rook E1, King, King F6, Rook F1, King, King F5. E5, Rook and E1, Rook again, E4. Again we can build a bridge and we can again win. So yeah, that's good. Uh, that uh, we can always build a bridge. So let me fix the evaluation. Like uh, just now we saw that uh, this is a uh, win for white. Rook even is also a good method. Like uh, let us explore more of this method. Like what will happen if uh, if I give Rook a check? A8. Yeah, so what will happen if I give a check? If uh, if my pawn, if my this king is protected, then the uh, best way is uh, to chase uh, to to let this uh, you know rook uh, support uh, the the pawn. And with this king, let's chase this rook. So that's what the method is currently. King d7. D7. So no point in putting rook p8 or anything like rook king c6, c6. and uh, so rook a6 b5 king b5 king y, and uh, he can't come here so rook so a8 this is a clear win Pawn for e8 for, for white the clear win so this is a clear win for white uh, rook e1 uh, another uh, so rook e8 check uh, won't work so as soon as you uh, use this method rook e1 or rook d1 the main uh, idea is uh, to chase uh, chase this uh, rook you know, So even even here, you know, if we if we see it here uh, in the alternate method uh, this way, so I, I will show you that also. So rook g4. Uh, instead of that, let's say we have rook e1. Then uh, again the same will come. Like uh, say we have rook d2. Then we have king f7. Then we have rook f2. King e6, King e6. King g6. So there is no way to stop the thing. So naturally, this move is not uh, working. Okay. So so of course uh, because after this, uh, there is no point in changing because uh, the king is not reachable. Okay. So I have to check. Uh, if I if I sacrifice it here, then also a black has this move, and there is no steel in it also. Rook F2 check. Okay, so Rook D2 won't work. Okay, we took King F7. Uh, now at this point of time, he is forced to give the check. Otherwise, uh, there is mate on uh, this square. So that's why uh, he has to give check, and uh, the king is out of bounds. So maybe Rook D2 is not a good move. Uh, the computer recommends uh, G7. King G7. Let us check that one. Like, uh, king D7. Okay, he will play King D7. And uh, rook, rook a check, king c6, c6, and uh, there is uh, there is no king stopping with b5. this. So same kind of uh, methodology. I think I should promote this variation and put it as a plus minus. So as you can see that uh, this is also an alternative win. Uh, so same thing happening here as well. Same same method that we employed it here. Uh, we we have this uh, same method here. Uh, so let us say now he plays rook, rook d2, d2 check uh, king, king e6, e6 and rook, rook e2 check e2. Uh, and 
and uh, who plays uh, king, king f6? f6. Rook f2, king e5, rook e2, rook e4. Mill. But let us say that uh, here, instead of rook d2, he plays, uh, he plays rook it here. a8. Rook a8, check. Rook e1, and uh, he plays uh, rook a8, check. I think we have already analyzed rook a8, check, king d7. Rook e7, king c6, rook e6, b5, b8, a8, check, queen, uh, plus minus. So, so also plus minus. Okay, and uh, this is also plus minus. And this is also plus minus. So, many Lucena positions uh, we, will, we will find with uh, ending in a bridge. Now let us say uh, we we are doing uh, this move rook d1. Rook uh, d1, uh, king g7. Uh, so here, uh, like uh, there are two two or three methods here. Like, uh, it's not needed right now. So let's say uh, we explore this one first. Like, uh, so so what happened is uh, rook d1 check, king h7, king h7. So instead of uh, building this bridge, we go for the rook d1 check. So king h7 and uh, so yeah. So king h7 and uh, we are building a, uh, this is another uh, rook d1 alternative method. So this also wings for white. Uh, so let us say uh, he plays king g7, g7 so that uh, the king does not escape at f7 and uh, black can constantly check, you know, so might be that is the reason. King so d7. d7. Rook a7 rook check. King e6. King e6. Rook a6 rook check. A6. And rook we can put D6. it here. Now, uh, the only method is like uh, can prevent rook this put it here. And rook uh, we can D8. put uh, a method here. So, this is clearly winning. Let rook us say uh, we again. So, we, we do not need to put it back again here. But King we can D5. now. Uh, rook a4. We can now just chase. Uh, uh, rook we can now a5. just uh, chase this uh, king c4, rook a4, king uh, rook b5, and there rook is no e4, pawn e8. Uh, so, this is also winning for white. Similarly, uh, so as you can see, that uh, he played king g7, so let us say he plays uh, rook, rook a8. g7 check. Now also like uh, now I think this move will be a mistake as, uh, King after G7. that we can play like this no we can't play like this because uh, uh, this will be uh, lost so uh, let's Rook. see please this move. And uh, King after that, uh, we can play this move, uh, or we can just play this King move. F8. And uh, I think uh, we are winning here. We are winning here. Let us see. Are we winning? Uh, King F8. It is showing, uh, I think the engines are shut down or something. Okay, it is showing that uh, 
there is no no way by which uh, we can rook a5 okay, if we say then also pawn e8 king then, uh, h6 okay, then uh, there is no way by which rook we can prevent e6. this so this uh, rook d1 is quite solid and uh, Uh, and so uh, rook a check uh, is uh, winning like uh, we can uh, instead of rook d8 we can king just play f7. king f7 uh, threatening mate here yeah. and king if we f6. then uh, of course we can pawn win e8 like this. so that that will be even more easier like, uh, just just uh, go for king uh, so, so just uh, go for uh, king f7 just, just take king f7 and thread and mate here so i think this is better this method is better and uh, of course he has to get out of uh, this mate thread and we can just win uh, from here Now, uh, here also I have shown that in the first move only you can uh, play uh, this move. And, uh, so rook it's similar a8. method. Like king d7, rook e7, uh, king, king e6, uh, rook e6, rook, uh, rook, d6. rook d6. Again, we will rook go back. A8. Again, rook d8. And, uh, rook and now we can uh, catch king uh, d5. We can uh, rook go and catch a5. Uh, the king. Rook. C4, Rook A4, King B5. So this is also win for black, white. Okay. So uh, now uh, let us see that. Uh, uh, so this is done. Now let us save this. Uh, but, uh, let's say uh, let's give the name like uh, Lucena, Lucena, okay. And uh, this is the But now uh, let us suppose that uh, let me check uh, if uh, any variation is not left out. Let's even check. Uh, actually. Okay, I think we have covered every variation here that was mentioned in Lucena like uh, how to win with white to white to move okay so let me write it here like uh, this was like uh, white to move white to move and let me save this here now let's say uh, this black to move now uh, white to move and was win white to move and win so, so if you have this position uh, you should be able to win uh, using uh, this methods so what are the methods like uh, we have rook e1 rook d1 and uh, rook g1 with uh, rook g4 so these are the methods uh, so while uh, rook uh, having rook e1 so your primary objective should be uh, like what happened with uh, rook d2 okay we, di we didn't saw that right we, we didn't check um, what will happen in that case yeah we did check that i think uh, okay to uh, in this one okay. we'll again have a lucena position here and uh, We'll, uh, we'll be taking the king to a check and uh, let's say this and then uh, we will be again having a lucena position so this is also uh, plus minus so so this is how uh, we should win uh, with white to move now let us uh, uh, take this same position with uh, black to move uh, let me go back to the diagram 
and this is the diagram and uh, let us assume that this is black to move so if this is black to move you should be able to draw this position yeah so let's say rook first a rook a check d7 king d7 rook a7 check king d6 king d6 rook a6 rook a6 king d7 uh rook so now he again has to go back uh, otherwise uh, his position is uh, lost for him so so this is a draw uh why this is a draw and why that was not a draw let's let us see now why this is a draw is because uh when uh, it was right to move we played this check and that's why or uh, we played the this interception move and we were able to get the rook in between or we were uh, providing extra support to this pawn and uh, so uh, we were able to chase the uh, the king you know, and uh, there was no move left uh, so Uh, in that case, in this case, uh, we don't have this uh, king f7 here. Uh, we don't have that move. We we need to go to this uh, this side of the board. So there is there is no protection. J6, uh, rook a6. Uh, so we will continuously uh, going on to give checks and those things. Here, why black cannot afford to lose a move? He has to constantly give checks. Uh, for example, uh, this will be a blunder because black will just eat it. So he has to go go back. King D8, yeah. and uh, so this will also be a blunder because white still has a rook. Rook so A8. He will take this, and uh, I think this position is a draw. So uh, let's say uh, losing. Like so this is uh, another thing worth remembering that how to draw if you have the move as black. Now let us uh, take another position like uh, okay, check. Uh, uh, let me uh, take another position. So. we will be shifting all of this position uh, uh let us uh, okay let us shift all the pieces here dorus can mention that let us shift all the pieces except for the black rook a single file to the left so of course the black rook cannot shift to the left uh, so uh, let us say we shift it here shift this here we shift uh, this here and we shift this here okay so uh, just shift or except for the black rook to single file to the left then the side checks do not help anyone because the rook is not far enough so as you can see that uh, i will show you that uh, if now it is black to move like uh, if the, it's a deep pawn and uh, then then what happens rook a8 so check king c7 rook and then uh, we take uh, Take this. Uh, maybe we can't put here. Yeah. And rock King on C6. And, uh, rock A6. We can take this. B7. Check rock B6. And, uh, we just King go King C8. Rock C6. And uh, King D7. Rock D6. No. King C7. Yes, uh, win for white. Even though this black to move, this will be a win for white. So, uh, to, in order to draw, like uh, there should be at least. Uh, so, here has uh, given some text on uh, what can we conclude. You know, so let me save this position as well. Like uh, uh, black to move, shift to left. Okay, so. if the pawn is on the seventh rank 
multiple winning methods will exist the most important ones are building a bridge so what Dvoratsky is mentioning is uh, here we can conclude that if a pawn is on the seventh rank multiple winning methods exist the most important ones are building a bridge for protection from checks along five and rook penny for protecting from side checks along ranks so one is the building of the bridge that is the rook, uh, rook uh, from uh, to g4 to e4 you know what we saw one is the rook uh, e1 and another is the rook d1 when the king of the weaker side is cut off from the pawn the only defender consistently in side checks the rook pursuit of the enemy king can only be successful when the rook and the pawns are separated by minimum by three fights now here the king and the rook are separated by two fights so this won't be considered a defense so rook can only be successful uh, when the, the three lines as we shall see it this rule does not put into side checks a central or a bishop pawn divides the chessboard into two unequal parts one is long another is short the correct positioning of forces for the weaker side is to keep the king on the short side and the rook on the long side so, uh, keep, so keep your king on the short side and your uh, and your rook on the long side so what here is happen is that if we have pawn here on D, then this is the short side. So ideally, your king should be on this side, and uh, this is the long side, and your king should be actually on the short side. So, so that's why this position is lost for black, uh, even though he has the move. You know? So I'm uh, hope I'm clear on uh, all this uh, stuff. You know, so I hope you like the video. So hello friends, uh, uh, so I am going to tell you uh, like uh, which book we studied it from that uh, the book name is uh, Dorotsky's Endgame Manual 4th edition. Now a 5th edition has also come so you might be interested in that but uh, this is also good enough for anybody like uh, so this is uh, Mark Dorotsky's Endgame Manual and uh, if you are interested to know what is inside this then there is this free excerpt from uh, chess india website so we, have, we will go through that and uh, so this is the worst is endgame manual fourth edition and uh, you can see that uh, this first edition was printed in 2003 the last one is printed in 2014 okay so this is published by Russell Publication in USA and uh, Pawn and Games. It starts with Pawn and Games. And uh, what we uh, studied right now was Lucena position, and that was just uh, this one page, no, page number 150. So after that, uh, there are some more pages also in the rook and games like there are 86 pages so we took around 45 minutes just to explain one page no no problem so uh, so that's how it it can go deep uh, and this books can go deep they are very analytical by nature there's uh, very little prose and pro some prose you have to figure it out yourself but you should get the key ideas and those things and these books are full of such ideas and the theory of endgame knowledge so if you can see pawn endgames this is by yeah, so we have this key squares and uh, this is idea and uh, we have this uh, active king concept and pawn races and so uh, i'm not going to like uh, just skimming through uh, reverse tempi there's just ten its rule and what to do when uh, there is a g and h pawn versus the h pawn and f and h pawn versus h pawn so so uh, reverse tempi and those things so knight versus pawns is another chapter two so what should happen when 
and there is a this uh, knight versus rook pawn and there is a uh, knight defends the pawn and how to like win and how to draw both the positions are written knight and games what is the botanics formula bishop versus pawn and opposite color bishops and uh, of course the when there is opposite color bishops then uh, there will be some rules and how to win and how to draw in that condition uh, bishops of the same color and what is a bad, bad bishop and uh, I think there is also a fortress part when it comes to bishop so bishop versus knight like when the knight is superior and when is the bishop superior in what conditions the rook versus pawn this is like uh, uh, a person has a rook and there is a, another person has a pawn like rook versus connected pawn and rook versus separated pawn and this versus a single pawn okay so what kind of uh, what kind of uh, techniques to use there's a rook and games and uh, you can see that uh, there are so many methods in the rook and games there's a last curse idea and those kind of interesting things are there I mean, of course uh, how can we forget this rocky rubinstein so who was a master in the rook and games rook versus knight there's this uh, how to win against that rook versus bishop Queen and games, queen versus rook, other material relations like uh, rook and knight versus rook, checkmating with a bishop and knight. M many actually take it as a challenge. That you can, like uh, checkmating with two knights, I don't think is possible unless and until an opponent has a pawn. But this is also very difficult. This is uh, rook versus two minor pieces, queen versus two rooks. So this kind of uh, things are more on the practical side. That like, um, it may happen that you may face this uh, kind of scenarios, all, all kind of scenarios that we mentioned above, and uh, general end game ideas, and those things. So one thing uh, to note here is that uh, there was this. Uh, There was this uh, say why we should study the end game. Okay. So let me go here. So what can you expect from uh, this uh, book that uh, this was the uh, what the author wrote as a forward and it has been preserved and uh, this is the fourth edition forward and there was another way check up a card and uh, which is not there here so so I love to read forward so many. and uh, the thing is uh, in the sample they have given night end games like uh, you can see that uh, there's a botvinnik formula like how botvinnik has uh, you know knight end games or pawn end games that what he said that is some something botvinnik can say so if you're interested to know you can uh, read all these things and you can see that uh, how many variations are there like we saw in the video of listener position no? in the same way there are many many variations and after that once you are like done with this chapter you get exercises and of course some answers will be there provided at the back of the book and uh, so that's how like if you are really interested you can go to the chess india website download the accept here and start practicing now uh, another book uh, favorite of mine is uh, fundamental chess endings uh, this is by Carsten Muller and Frank uh, Lampant. So uh, this is also like an encyclopedia um, of uh, end games. It it contains many many end games, and uh, I I believe this is also a very good book. If you see uh, the uh, the table of contents for this book, it is uh, like basic mates. It starts with uh, king and queen. So any beginner can also start with this basic mate section uh, Dorotsky won't have such because it is not aimed to be for beginners there is a king and pawn versus uh, on there is a bars rule fortress and uh, 
so many of the things you will find in Doris key many of the things you will find in fundamental might be you may find the same things with a different terminology or something so night endings and uh, bishop endings so click clear description like uh, rook endings so in rook endings we have rook versus pawn and rook versus rook so clear demarcation double rook endings like both sides have two rooks rook versus minor piece rook and minor piece versus rook queen endings and further queen endings and end game strategy so these are the practical aspects of end game play so i think many of the things were covered like uh, king uh, activity and uh, so uh, like many many of things are were already here in the worst case so so if you have money then you can buy both these books i will heartily recommend uh, this also and this is also i saw it on carlson's table on uh, in the 2013 world championship match uh, like with Vishyanand so he had this book Carlson also has this book Carlson also is supposed to have this book also but uh, don't know what Carlson has and doesn't have but we are very sure that this book was on his table when uh, some in one of the scenes in that uh, world championship match another book I would like to recommend is uh, this is a cinnamon course complete end game course this is uh, like uh, way beginner like uh, but uh, it, it transits to master level also so it starts with end game for beginners same way that uh, they started so the main problem with uh, like i can show you the problem later but uh, that like the advantage of this uh, is uh, it starts with whatever you are rated with you just go and uh, some uh, uh, gain that knowledge maybe you can gain for uh, another knowledge also like say for example you are 950 rating then you can complete this and this and uh, you can uh, you can uh, improve your end game knowledge like after that you can uh, you can probably uh, take uh, another uh, like when you reach uh, near to 1200 you can take this one as well and uh, so so this is like the complete demarcation like uh, if uh, rook end games lucena position then you should be around 1400 to 1590 but uh, because he believes that at a certain ending a certain rating only a certain end games are useful so i don't believe in that it's like uh, it can be useful like as a starting point but say uh, if you are on a 1200 rating and you you face this lucera position then what you are going to do you you're not read this at all so i would recommend that whatever is your rating try to go through it in this book it's a very fine book and you will be able to uh, grasp many things so these are some uh, very good end games also given like uh, from famous end game players so main problem another problem with this book is uh, there is no clear demarcation like what you see in uh, Doretsky and uh, what you see here like if you say pawn and games then you will find all the pawn and games here and similarly here also like pawn endings you will face find it here but here if you are looking for a pawn ending or a rook ending you will find that one is here another is here another is uh, rook uh, here there is no rook endings strange so and uh, another one you will find it rook versus lone pawn here so as you can see that uh, if i want to just study rook endings uh, i have to you know try to find where the next rook end games are here you know, so here there is a rook end game and uh, so not many but this is also a very thick book this is around 500 plus pages and uh, the last pages are like end games for masters and uh, end games for pr pleasure so last chapters are really good you know so like uh, what i will recommend is that uh, if you are like a post beginner level then at least you should be knowing till class c you know what i will recommend but if you have time you can study other as well 
so yeah so this is how like it is uh, now last but not the least uh, mark doretsky so this is mark doretsky he is a russian trainer like he wrote many chess books he is no more now but uh, he is not many chess books and those books live on with us so the first uh, published is bats for editions and then uh, some reprinted further works from ohms and uh, russell publications so uh, like uh, there are many books uh, like he has written so one can go through this books uh, as per their level but uh, the book that anybody can pick up is uh, th- this uh, one called end game manual end game manual with this uh, this is a very very good book and this is what uh, should be the book that can be understood by any player so yeah so thank you for your time you know and uh, i uh, hope you like the video and uh, you like the coverage of uh, end game manual and uh, all the other uh, end game books which i believe are important and uh, should be bought you know, there are other, like uh, Uh, you know, even on chesspace uh, india website you will find that uh, this comes as a bundle like uh, if you are willing to purchase the whole bundle then uh, you have this uh, all of this books i i don't think these are available right now but uh, these three which i have covered are already available uh, so 100 end games i don't know but uh, 100 end games like you must know it is a good title but how can you limit yourself to just 100 end games like uh, if you see this has this will be having the most important end games this will be uh, dovrotsky and manuel might be having the most uh, end games and uh, like uh, very, very quality analysis and those thing both good uh, both books are good in their respect yeah, you can if you don't have much more money and uh, you're just starting chess uh then uh, starting if you're just starting then this will be the first step then you get some more money by this one or this one depends on you like both are like equally good but uh, this covers uh, some beginner mates also so <laughs> so if you want to avoid this uh, you can start with this no problem no and uh, but it all depends on the reader right so if the reader is willing to work hard then he can start with this book also uh, and uh, if he know he needs a uh, one more step a, a beginner step and he needs some kind of a guidance like these are the end games that i need to see at this kind of rating then he can buy the silman's complete end game course which is uh, which is this one so so this is the kind of uh, end games uh, that we saw uh, in dorotsky we studied the lucena position and that's only one page and uh, this is having like 424 pages in total this book and one of the friends who actually went through all this uh, positions and those thing because many positions will be very complicated like i just showed you here many position would be like many complicated there will be many variations and those variations need to be taken into account while doing it so so this is like uh, yeah one of my friend took 3 uh, years to complete this uh, whole manual but uh, he had a good experience like his end game improved a lot in using this book so thank you my friends please share like and subscribe to this video